Hey, in this video, we're going to show you some of the top places to eat in Tybee Island. And tonight, we're going to AJ's Dockside. It's on the south side of the island, and it requires reservations. The other places we'll be going to don't require reservations. You ready to go? I'm ready. I'm hungry. Let's go. Just be aware that parking is tight at AJ's. They have a few spots right in front of their building, and they have a lot right down the street that you see in front of you that's also available. We had to drive around until something opened up. They offer not only indoor seating, but seating on a covered outside patio and also an outside deck. With some nice views. They offer a four page food menu and a decent drink menu, all at reasonable prices. After drinks, we moved on to a delicious appetizer, and then we enjoyed our dinner. And all the while, there was a guitar player in the background playing some soft music from the 70s and 80s. All right, that was actually really good. I don't know what it is, but the shrimp here in Georgia always tastes better than even the shrimp in South Carolina. I hate to say that. But it was a good meal and the price was uh, reasonable, around $66 uh, before tip. Um, so I'd recommend coming here, AJ's. Just come early or take an Uber or walk because parking here is uh, pretty crazy. Another night, another dinner. Yeah, we're headed to the Crab Shack. That's right, it's on the marsh here in Tybee Island and it's supposed to be a really neat place. With alligators, I understand. Are you ready? I think so. Let's go. <laughs> This place is definitely off the beaten trail, and if I didn't have GPS, I would never have found it. So this place is uh, certainly unique and um, supposedly a must stop when you're uh, visiting Tybee Island. So we got a table right away. We're sitting outside, which is pretty cool. You can see all these trees. These are the live oaks that are very popular in this area. Okay. Oh. Got it. Thank you. It was a little breezy, but it cooled us off. And you couldn't beat that view table with a view. They have a very traditional southern seafood menu, including the low country boil. And that's what I ended up getting. We really enjoyed sitting under the shade of the southern live oak trees. And the tables here have a little bit of a twist. So this place has uh, the table with a hole in the middle to put your shells and stuff. That's right. As you eat, you throw your waist down here. Although the place was packed, the food came quickly and the portions were very generous. So what I have is a traditional southern low country boil. And what this is, is shrimp, corn, sausage, and potatoes. And you can get this for one person, this is for one person, up to, how many people was it? You can get one big platter for seven, eight, nine people. Um, but this is a traditional low country boil that you'll find down here in the south. We both enjoyed our meals. Of note, the Crab Shack has both indoor and outdoor seating. And they have an alligator pond that's free to visit. But you can buy bait if you'd like to feed them. So I guess they sell bait and you put it on a hook and you saw those uh, people were feeding the gators uh, only down in uh, Georgia would you see something like that. 
But how was the meal, Sue? It was delicious. And we have some to take home. Yeah, I would say generous portions, uh, very tasty, um, fair price. Uh, definitely worth coming to if you're coming down to Tybee Island. You gotta check this place out. Very, very popular too. Okay, we're off to another great restaurant. That's right, we're heading out to Baba Gumbo's, another highly recommended restaurant here in Tybee. It's down by the marsh, so we're gonna drive there and then show you what it's all about. Are you ready? I'm hungry. Let's go. Bubba Gumbo's is very rustic and is located right in the center of a marina. We arrived around 5 p.m., so we had no problem finding parking. So when you see the boats that are up in the air, just turn around and the restaurant's right over there. Okay. Make sure you check out the board where they have the specials and the catch of the day. And when they say catch of the day, they're not kidding. The fishing boats are right here. What kind is that? It's king mackerel. Oh, king mackerel, wow. Holy mackerel! They have indoor seating, covered outdoor seating, and outdoor seating on the patio. As you can imagine, the menu's big on fish. We started off with some delicious hush puppies and drinks. We then moved on to our meals. All right, so what I got was loaded gumbo and Sue got shrimp and grits. Looks delicious. So this uh, loaded gumbo is delicious. It's kind of a uh, tomato-based broth and just enough spice. Definitely good if you like a little bit on the spicy side, but I like it that way. Hey, so what'd you think? It was delicious. It really was. The fish here is super fresh. It comes from the water. It's right behind us. The dock is here. The boats come in, the fishing boats. So uh, I'd say come on down and for a fresh fish dinner. Now, even though it's hot in Tybee, at some point you may need a cup of coffee. Hey, if you're looking for a great cup of coffee, head over to Tybee on the north side of the island. There's not only coffee here, but it looks like they also have places to uh, shop and also to get some lunch. You'll find shopping here, a great local restaurant, and what we came for, to have a cup of coffee at Thai Bean. The coffee was great and it was fresh, but there was no flat white. Sorry, HW, no flat whites, and everything served in a paper cup. Hey, and if you're looking for a nice place for lunch or dinner that's on the beach at mid-beach, um, we're gonna show you right now. It's right off Butler Avenue, but the entrance is sort of hidden. You can't see it from the road. We got our sunglasses on because the sun down here in Georgia is pretty strong. So this place is called The Deck, and it's within walking distance from where we're staying, staying at the DeSoto uh, Beach Hotel. The Deck is about one block south on Butler Avenue from the DeSoto Hotel. So we're walking down Butler Avenue and you would never see this place from the road. So you have to look right behind this post and there's a sign that says the deck. And just follow the arrows and you'll bring you to it. They offer both indoor and outdoor seating right on the beach. So on a day like today, you definitely need ice water. And here's the good news. In America, ice water is complimentary. No extra charge. <laughs> After our water, we started with some frozen drinks and then split a plate of shrimp nachos. Hey, that was great. Uh, come here for lunch or dinner. You won't be disappointed. Drinks were good. View was good. Sit outside if you can. Um, so we're heading to the pool now. Hey, we're headed to Salt Island Fish and Beer tonight. That's right, it's our last night. And supposedly this place is a local favorite, we'll see. Salt Island is just a few blocks north of the DeSoto Hotel, and it was an easy walk to get there.
They offer indoor and outdoor seating and have very friendly staff. Welcome to Salt Island. We started with some very unique and delicious hush puppies. The food there was very unique. I had their salt and pepper shrimp, which consisted of Georgia shrimp, smoked sausage, roasted potatoes, and corn. And Sue had a delicious dish of seafood mac and cheese. Hey, so that was a great meal at Salt Island. Um, what I had was absolutely delicious. Sue had the seafood mac and cheese, absolutely delicious. Um, would recommend it, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, very good. Yeah, very good. and the server was super, super friendly. Just nice environment. Um, definitely recommend it. And the nice thing is they also have a bar outside. I guess on the weekends it's open, so you can kind of hang out there. Um, but would would recommend going to Salt Island when you come down here. Definitely, no doubt about it. We hope you enjoyed our restaurant and food review here in Tybee Island. Until next time, safe travels. <laughs>